last the Jedi are no more. Not if anything to say about it. I have. <laughs> What's up guys, Nukin here, back with another Galaxy Heroes episode, and we're gonna talk about Grand Master Yoda. So sit back, relax, grab a cold one. We're gonna talk about everything Grand Master Yoda in this video. First, we're gonna take a look at an arena battle here against a Darth Treya Sith squad. This is a Grand Master Yoda lead. We'll take a look at this arena battle and we'll look at the kit together, the kit changes, and then we'll talk about the Sith Raid team I'll go over the Zeta priority order for that team and then take a look at the gameplay. So that's what we're going to be doing in this video. So first off, let's take a look at Grandmaster Yoda's basic and it's called a Taru. Or I think it's called a Taru. <laughs> So it is called a Taru. So this basic ability has been changed. The changes are going to be bold faced here. So now Yoda will be dealing special damage on his basic attack. He'll also inflict the potency down debuff for a turn. And on top of that, he's going to be gaining the offense up and defense penetration up for two turns if he's attacking an enemy that has less than 50% health. So that is a very big improvement. Now let's take a look at the first special, Master Stroke. So the change here is that now Grandmaster Yoda is going to gain an immediate bonus turn as long as there is at least one other living Jedi ally. So this is going to be a back-to-back combination that you can actually go ahead use master stroke and then take another turn right away if you're using at least more than one jedi but we're going to be using multiple jedi not just one so we'll easily get that to trigger let's take a look at the second special now unstoppable force and here it is so the change to this ability is that it is now more consistent so before it was a 70 percent chance to remove 70 percent turn meter and now it is a 100 percent chance to remove 70 percent turn meter so you will be removing turn meter if you pass the potency tenacity check now let's take a look at the final special battle meditation so now yoda will be gaining protection up 30 percent and he'll be spreading that out to his allies on top of the tenacity Tenacity up and the foresight if you zated this ability and Yoda is going to also be granting himself a bunch of turn meter and bonus turn meter for each other living Jedi ally so he'll be moving pretty quickly in the battle. And finally, let's talk about the leadership ability, Grand Master's Guidance. So now Jedi allies are going to be gaining critical synergies, critical chance, and critical damage up for two turns whenever they are resisting debuffs. So they're going to hit much harder. They're going to be critting more often. And on top of that, Grand Master Yoda is immune to shock. So overall, some great changes to Grandmaster Yoda. Now, you're not gonna be seeing a lot of Jedi teams start sprouting all over the woodworks because Darth Treya is still gonna be the dominant arena meta, but definitely a step in the right direction for a future Jedi meta, maybe with some more Jedi characters or a Jedi rework, then Grandmaster Yoda will see some more light in the arena, but he's definitely very good in the Sith raid, and we're gonna start taking a look at some Sith raid photos right now so we're gonna start taking a look at some footage now this is some footage of me just messing around with the Jedi against Darth Sion this is a flexible team you can run them in phase one phase two phase four in any location I believe but I wasn't able to test them against Darth Treya by herself in phase three and at the end of phase four but I think that will also do quite well here so here's basically a team that does well in just about any aspect of the raid so they're flexible that's good they also do remarkably well against darth nihilus which is amazing because there are very few teams that actually can work around darth nihilus's mechanics so the team as you may have already guessed is a grand master yoda lead i'm also using hermit yoda here so both of the yodas currently in the game i'm using qui-gon jinn ezra bridger and visas mar so visas mar is actually the only non 
Jedi on the team. You could replace here with another Jedi, maybe Barriss Offy. They are similar in some regards, although Visus Mar does do a lot of damage and will definitely help you out against Darth Nihilus. I'm gonna showcase this damage screenshot of what I did in this battle because we're gonna actually move on to the Zeta priority order for the team. Did about 2 million damage, so pretty good damage, just kind of messing around with the team. All right, so now that we kind of talked about flexibility, we've taken a look at kind of what they can do in phase four and taking a look at the team in action. Let's talk about the Zeta priority order. So let's talk Zetas. So there are a lot of Zetas here. There are actually even more Zetas than this, but you definitely want to Zeta these five Zetas for sure. So first off, you're going to want to do Grand Master Yoda's Zetas. So if you were a Jedi lover and ever ran Jedi in phase one of the tank raid, if anyone <laughs> remembers that, or ran Jedi in arena, you probably already have battle meditation Zeta. If not, you're going to want to do it because the capability of gaining foresight on the rest of your team is going to be very important when you're fighting Darth Nihilus. That's part of the reason why the resistance are actually so good against Darth Nihilus because they have the foresight capabilities and then Darth Nihilus can't do damage straight to their health. So you're going to want to do battle meditation. You're also going to want to do Grand Master Yoda's leadership, which has been reworked. The leadership, as we already covered beforehand, is going to be providing more turn meter. It's also going to be providing critical chance up and critical damage damage up so they're going to be critting more often and so your Jedi are going to hit that much more harder so that's going to be very important as well so once you've rounded off the bases and done both of Grandmaster Yoda's Zetas it's time to Zeta the rest of the team for the rest of the Zetas I would do as follows I would then Zeta Hermit Yoda strength flows from the force this is his best Zeta and it's going to allow you to use the ability on a cooldown down that is one less and also it's going to give Jedi allies foresight so the combination of Hermit Yoda and Grandmaster Yoda there's going to be a lot of foresight spread around which is going to be very helpful against Darth Nihilus also this Zeta helps against Darth Sion because it gives protection recovery so no matter where you're using your Jedi team in the Sith Ray this is a great Zeta and then after that it's time to do some of the damage Zetas so return to the light is Visa's Mars Zeta and that's going to give her well not more damage but a lot more assist chance so she'll have more opportunity to do damage and then Flourish is actually going to make Ezra Bridger hit like a truck when he does his special and Ezra Bridger will be doing a lot of damage because the combination of offense up critical damage up and defense penetration is going to allow the whole team to do a lot of damage and Ezra Bridger actually did already decent damage to begin with. So we saved the best for last, the best opponent that is Darth Nihilus Phase 1 Heroic Sith Raid. Same team we've been talking about the whole video, Grandmaster Yoda Leadership. All the Zetas that we talked about are on this team. I believe the team is modded decently well. We have a critical damage set on Visa Smar, Ezra Bridger. I believe we're running a offense mod set on Grandmaster Yoda. And then we have two speed sets one speed set on Hermit Yoda, one speed set on Qui-Gon Jinn. So to maximize your damage, we would probably take out the speed set off of Qui-Gon Jinn, put a critical damage set, and take off the offense mod set off Grandmaster Yoda, put a crit critical damage set on there as well, and you would probably maximize your damage there. Now the question is, where is the best place to enter the phase with this team? No doubt is it a good team, but do you enter in the first part or the second part of phase one? Because Grandmaster Yoda's basic actually does specific things based off the enemy's health percentage. To remind everyone, Grandmaster Yoda's basic attack is going to give him a bunch of turn meter, 40% turn meter if he's attacking an enemy that has more than 50% HP, and that's going to actually help to have him cycle through his turns quickly so he can make sure that he's always using his specials. So I believe that's going to actually allow you to have an easier time in the Sith 
raid if you're actually running the team in the first half of the raid because you'll always be able to cycle through the turns and be spreading out the foresight and spreading out the buffs and all that jazz so that's going to be good but you also want to make sure if you're attacking in the first part of the raid that you're attacking the side mobs below 50 percent hp so you're gaining the offense up and the defense penetration up buff this is especially important if you're not going to use Qui-Gon Jinn or Visus Mar because that will be the only way that you're going to be able to gain offense up and defense penetration and so what actually happens is <laughs> Darth Nihilus steals the buffs from one of your teammates and then Yoda can actually steal it right back and then spread it out to the rest of the team so let's take a look at how that works so here is a situation that has occurred Qui-Gon Jinn has used Unbreakable Will Darth Nihilus has stolen the buffs off Qui-Gon Jinn and now has all the fancy buffs that we want to take and then we use Grand Master Yoda to actually steal those buffs and then spread it out to the rest of the team resupplying the team with the awesome juicy offense up critical damage up defense penetration all that jazz that makes this team actually hit much harder so now we're going to move a little bit forward in time well to basically save us a little bit of time here we're now at the enrage timer of five and we're definitely starting to make a dent on Darth Nihilus we've have already shaved off five percent almost five percent HP off of him from a full 100% and we're not done yet so this is remarkable because basically the only other team that can do this amount of damage is the resistance so this is another super team in the making and what's great it's another team that you're not forced to use on Darth Sion this is a team that can go toe to toe with the Darth Nihilus it can handle the mechanics of basically avoiding the force strain ability and being able to recover after annihilate being able to heal up the HP Hermit Yoda can do that job Visas Mar can do that as well. And if you're not using Visas, you can use Barris Offy. Now, if you're going to actually run both the resistance and this Jedi squad, it's gonna come down to do you use Visas Mar on this team? or do you keep using her on a resistance team? And that's gonna be something that we're gonna to have to theorycraft and decide a little bit later on in the future when we have a little bit more data. Overall, Grandmaster Yoda is definitely way better. He's doing more damage than ever before. And part of it is due to all of these new offensive buffs like the defense penetration, critical damage up, offense up and all of that. But actually another big factor is switching the switch from his physical damage to special damage on his attacks like his basic attack so now his basic is actually hitting for 40 to 50k and look at this special damage here on the sith assassin with an offense mod set 69k damage so with a critical damage set you're going to probably be doing 70 to 90 thousand damage on that special attack wow that's like Darth Vader calling blade damage. And speaking of damage, that reminds me, let's take a look at the damage screenshot together. So this is what I did in this run. I did 3.2 million damage with this team. This is one of my very first few runs. I see a lot of potential with this team. I think we can do way more than this. This is definitely already a super remarkable team with a lot of upwards potential here. Grandmaster Yoda himself is doing a million damage. I don't think he could probably have broken more than 100 or 200k before this. Of course, Hermit Yoda never does any damage anyway, so he's gonna be a zero. Ezra Bridger, he's doing over a million damage himself, and that's partly to do with that Flourish Zeta that helps his damage output. Qui-Gon Jinn, not doing the most damage, so maybe we can replace him with another character 
character that can do a little bit more. And then Visas Mar here doing 1.2 million damage. Anything over, you know, 800k to a million is great for Visas Mar. So very impressive damage output. So that's it, folks. Hopefully you guys all enjoyed the video. Hopefully you guys found it informative. Let's see how many likes we can get on this video. Let me know down in the comments below your thoughts about the Yoda rework. And also, if you're new here, make sure to subscribe to the channel. I make videos all the time. Hit the bell so you never miss when I upload my next video. And I'll see everyone in the next one. Cheers. The Force will be with you always.